All right. So as promised today, I was going to talk about fasting. And the reason is, the reason why this is the topic of conversation today is because, hold on, let me make sure my mic is on here. Check, check. Yes. Okay. Looks like it is. All right. So, uh, so the reason why we're talking about this today is because uh, I am currently right now on a 48-hour fast, okay? A 48-hour fast, okay? So I'm on hour 47 right now, okay? And I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking like, what the hell? Yeah, it, it is kind of a little crazy, but uh, I but a lot of you guys don't probably don't know this, but I, I fast all the time, okay? Like every day, right? Pretty much every day. So I fast usually until after I work out, run my errands, did a bunch of stuff. When I get back home is usually when I eat, it's usually around noon, two o'clock-ish by the time I get back to the house after training my clients and then going to work out and then, you know, doing all that stuff, right? So I usually fast for, you know, 20 hours or so every day anyway. And this is one of the reasons why I do it is because it makes life easy, Okay. Fasting is magic, okay? This is literally the one-two punch of helping you get lean, okay? So, and this is one of the reasons why I do it. Number one is the reasons why I do it is because I actually like the way that I feel whenever I train fasted because whenever I train, uh, whenever I eat before I train, I just don't feel as good. Right. My body's just not, it just, just doesn't feel as good. Like it's clean and pure. It feels good whenever I do it fasting. I know a lot of you guys are like, I have to work out before I eat, like a little bitch. Right. And the reason is, is because you guys are basically carboholics and you are used to being a sugar burner and your body is not used to utilizing its fat stores for energy, right? You're not as efficient at it, right? Which is why a lot of you guys that eat a lot of carbs and shit, you hit a point where you hit a wall, right? You ever hear that from like the marathon runners and those dumb motherfuckers that do all this endurance shit, okay? Um, they hit a wall because they're carbing their workouts. They're used to running off of sugar. All carbs are broken down into sugar in the body, right? And then what happens is when they run out, they bonk and they just crash and they just can't, they can't perform, right? When you're more fat adapted and you're fasting regularly, right? Your body can tap into its body fat stores for energy, right? And it's super, super simple, right? And it's nice and pure and clean and you don't fucking bonk. Now, let me talk about some things that you guys do wrong when you do fasting, okay? Because most of you guys, when you fast, are doing it incorrectly, Okay, the number one most important thing that you have to make sure you do when you are fasting is drink salt water. Yes, salt water. Okay, so get a gallon jug, right, and put up to a full tablespoon in there of sea salt. Okay, some some Celtic, some pink, some uh, Redmond's, whatever. It's fine. Don't use the iodized. If you don't, I mean, if that's the only thing you have available, like maybe you're, you know, traveling or something and you need an emergency salt, right? You can use that, but you want to try and stay away from it. Cause it's typically got a bunch of shit in it. Right. But it does have the sodium that your body needs. Now, a lot of you guys are probably thinking like salt, right? So salt, why do I need salt? Well, salt is electrolytes. Okay. Not Gatorade. Salt is electrolytes. And if you fast and you aren't drinking your fucking electrolyte water, which salt is, okay, you motherfucking ass going to feel like dying, okay? <laughs> You're literally going to feel like death. Like have you ever noticed that like whenever you have like a like a really intense workout and you feel really tired afterwards, like you feel like you could just fall asleep or you're going to die. That's an electrolyte imbalance. Okay? Salt so what the motherfuckers? Okay? So anyways, so most people when they salt or they, when they're fasting, they don't salt. And what ends up happening is you feel like fucking death. Or, or, or the other side effect of that is too, besides you feel tired and you feel like death, is that you, you are also going to crave carbs more. Okay, being dehydrated and being depleted in salt triggers carb cravings, sugar cravings. OK, 
Okay. One of the reasons that you guys are fucking carboholics and eat nothing but fucking carbs all goddamn day long and why you're so goddamn fat is because most of you live in a very chronically dehydrated state in life. Like most of you guys drink like two cups of water and think like you're drinking water. No, bitch. You're like near dead. <laughs> you're like near dead. That's why you ain't got no energy. Right. So. Because you need the damn water and electrolytes and the salt and the the sodium also has minerals in it, right? And the sodium helps also um, hydrate your cells, right? If you just drink plain water, most of that shit's going to go through you. You add salt to it, your body's going to absorb it better, right? Your muscles are going to absorb it better. You're going to perform better. You're going to feel better, okay? So that's salt, all right? So one of the main things you got to make sure you do is get that fucking gallon and put a tablespoon of salt in that bitch. OK, now when it comes to fasting, I've, I've li been living like this for like a long ass time. OK, long, long time, like like over 10 years I've been living like this. Right. Typically fast half the day. Right. The, like for the 20 hours. And then I usually just eat one or two times a day. Right. Makes life easy. Right. Instead of having to make all these. Can, here's another little fact for you guys in case you guys are new to my channel here. OK, you don't have to eat every fucking two and a half hours, every two hours. All this fucking horse shit you hear at all these fucking bodybuilders and all these competitors and all these uneducated motherfuckers say, okay, that is horse shit. You do not need to eat that often. Matter of fact, it's better if you eat less and bigger meals, okay? So you do not need to eat. I'm fucking walking, talking proof, okay? I do this, been doing this shit forever, right? Okay, so, you want, so I usually eat one or two meals a day. What? But what that means is when you eat these meals – they're massive, man. Like, like each meal, if I'm eating two times a day, like each meal has over a hundred grams of protein in each one. Right. So I'm fucking stuffed. Right. So by the time I eat my second meal, I'm like done. I'm like feeling pregnant and shit, you know, cause it's only been a couple hours since I actually started eating. Right. And then I'm full till I go to sleep and then I do my whole thing the next day. And then, you know, that's how I do it. So one of my little secrets is staying lean. Right. Cause I ain't got to do all this fucking meal prep. I ain't got to do all this bullshit. I just fucking fast and eat one or two times a day. Boom, right? Rest of the time I can spend on working, dealing with my clients, right? And handling my clients and uh, producing content, right? So, because I haven't eaten in fucking almost 48 hours now. <laughs> so, by the time I upload this video into YouTube and I get home, right? It's going to be time to eat, okay? So, after 48 hours of not eating, it actually wasn't that bad. I've done 36 before. I did 40 once. You know, uh, my wife really just got into fasting recently because she heard a podcast and it was talking about all kinds of like anti-aging benefits and all kinds of health benefits and stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's actually one of the reasons why I do it because um, the uh, it spikes certain hormones. Like, for example, whenever you hit like the, you know, the, the, the realm that I'm in right now, it's supposed to have like a massive growth hormone spike. Supposed to increase testosterone levels, helps your body detoxify, right? Gives your gut a freaking break. Right, because most of you guys are feeding it and feeding it garbage all fucking day long. Your guts are damaged as hell. So, um, but anyways, fasting. So it's the, it's the one two punch, and this is also a hack that you can do besides doing it every day, just like an every every day part of your life. This is also another factor you want to implement when it comes to weekends. Okay, so on weekends and holidays and vacations, this is a hack that you can utilize so that way you don't get fat like every other fat motherfucker does when they go on the weekends or holidays or vacation, okay? Because they go off the rails and eat all kinds of stupid-ass shit, right? And on top of all the other stupid-ass shit they ate all day long, right? So if instead you fasted, right? So, so if you fasted the majority of – or the first half of the day, right, then you're actually really only eating – you're only eating like a lunch, maybe a dinner, right? And then by this time, you know, you can, if you're on vacation and shit and you're having drinks and everything. But here's a little hack that I do too. Here's a little hack that I do too. So on, on, the, on the days that I know I'm going to be going somewhere, um, like if I'm going to be going to like a restaurant, right? Let's say I'm taking my, my sons out. We're going to go uh, to like a churrascara. You know what I'm talking about? So it's all you can eat, like Brazilian steakhouses where they cut all the shit off to it for you. Or maybe I'm going to go have sushi or something, right? Yes, I have sushi occasionally. There's a way of actually doing it the smart way. We bring our own sauces. There's a whole – that's a whole nother video, okay, because it's very strategic on how to do this shit. But anyways, one of the hacks 
is when I'm going to go to a restaurant and I know that the calorie intake is going to be extremely high. I do this on vacations too, right? I will fast the entire day until usually dinner time. Let's say dinner's at 6 p.m. I'll fast all day, okay? Usually we'll work out two times during that window, okay? Because I want to make sure my calorie output is high, right? Because I know my intake is going to be high and I can't really be accurate with it and track it because it's fucking from a restaurant. That's why I don't really like to eat out restaurants very much, right? And um, and then what you do is fast all day and then you just follow some basic rules when it comes time to eat, like primarily eating protein, right? And whenever you're drinking, drink like the nasty, no carby, fucking disgusting wines and street liquors, right? And if you do that, Primary, primarily focus on your protein, right? And then you drink low calorie stuff that has high alcohol. So like Sauvignon Blanc or some like Pinot Noir is okay. Uh, or like just straight liquor, vodka, tequila, whiskey on the rocks, things like that, right? You can get away with it, right? As long as you put the work in here, right? You fasted, you're in a crazy deficit, then boom, right? And as long as you're eating a lot of protein in your meals, you're going to be full. You're not really going to be able to overeat that much. So so you'd be fine, right? Now, this this little 48-hour one that I'm finishing up right now, I've actually worked out four times. Four times during this 48-hour window. Twice yesterday, twice today, okay? So I don't want to fucking hear, can't wait, can't shut up, shut up, okay? So this is the secret. So, but anyways, this is an easy way to cut your calories, right? So it's an, it's an easy way, and this is just an easy way to live, especially if like you're a business owner, right? You fucking busy all day, right? I've been a business owner for 20 years. Like I'm fucking busy, right? I got shit to do every single minute of every single day. I don't have any free time that like it, if I have any free time at all whatsoever, I'm working on something constantly. And you business owners know what I'm talking about. This makes life easy, right? Because whenever you're only eating one to two times a day, you only got to prep one meal, right? With a whole bunch of shit, but it's prep one meal, then you eat, boom, you're done, right? So fasting is a super, super, super Easy way of hacking your lifestyle and your nutrition. It's also, it can benefit you in accelerating your fat loss on a fat loss journey as well too because you're basically going to be in a deficit that first half of the day. Now, where most people ruin this, right, besides the fact that they don't get their salt, right, the other way that people ruin this is that they'll fast, right, for 20 hours and then they go eat a bunch of fucking bullshit, pizza and fucking hamburgers and all kinds of stupid ass shit that they shouldn't be eating to begin with. And then consume way more calories than their body is going to be have burned for the day and they're still getting fat. So they're like, I don't know what's going on. I'm fasting 20 hours a day and I'm still getting fat. Yeah, stupid. Because you're still eating like a fatty. So yeah, you're going to look like a fatty. Okay. Now, this is also speaking to you, you, you guys that think you eat healthy. Okay, you don't eat healthy, in my opinion. Okay, most of you motherfuckers are eating a lot of toxic ass shit every day. You think is healthy, that is actually garbage. Okay, so like whole wheat, whole grain, fucking yogurts, fucking uh, like uh, granola, like protein bars, protein shakes. Trash, 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 trash. Okay. So, um, anyways, so fasting, right? Make sure you get your salt, right? And also, it's still vital. Like, if you're really trying to get like really toned, really shredded, like you need to track your macros, even though you're fucking fasting. You still have to track your shit because you can still overeat healthy food, right? Well, like I was just saying, like most of you motherfuckers don't even actually really eat healthy, but you still can overeat actual healthy food. You can overeat fucking chicken and fucking strawberries and eat too much and still never lose an ounce, even though you fasted for 20 hours. OK, you can still do it. I see it all the time. OK, it's the same thing when people do these like when they try and hop on like the keto diet or the paleo or the carnivore, which I'm a big fan of carnivore. I live carnivore all the time. Right. So it's one of my other hacks of staying lean, right? If you follow me on social media, you know I talk about that shit all the time. But I, 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 fuck, I haven't had any carbs. Fuck, I don't even, what, shit, in like two weeks now. So it's just, I, I love, I love being carnivore. It's just an easy way of living, right? I'm just getting my essential macronutrients, my protein and my fats. 
So that way I can perform and feel good, right? Testosterone levels are through the roof. And I don't need all that fucking carby shit that's just going to make you fucking crave stuff, right? Because even if you, because fruit is carbs, in case you didn't know that. So you go eat some fucking fruit, right? Five minutes later, you want 10 times more, 100 times more, right? Then that leads you to fucking grazing and all this other, I hate that shit, right? But that's how our brains are wired. So anytime you consume any carbs, even if they're healthy, you are always 100% going to fucking crave more. Always. Okay? All of us do. And that's why I fucking avoid that shit because I hate it. Right? I hate that feeling. I like to have control whenever you live carnivore and whenever you're living fasted and you're used to doing these types of things. You don't get hangry. Right? You only get hangry when you have metabolic issues, insulin issues, because motherfuckers are carbies. Okay? I don't have any of that shit, so I don't have that problem. I don't have cravings for that shit. I got that problem, right? 48 hours in, I'm actually really not even hungry. Uh, I want to eat, but I'm not even hungry. You know what I mean? Like I could probably go another day or two. Like I'm totally fine right now. So, but anyways, that's just some secrets when it comes to fasting, right? The basics, make sure you get your salt. Make sure you're tracking your macros if you actually want to be toned and sexy, okay? If you don't know what macros are, that's your protein, carbs, and fat. You have to eat a specific amount of them to hit your calorie goals so you can hit your goal goal, right? So, um, but that's kind of like the, you know, how you actually do it. So like I said, do it on the weekends, right? Especially if you know you're going to be going to dinner and drinking, fast all fucking day. Work out twice, okay? There's a holiday coming up. Like, for example, we have Christmas coming up right now, right? I did this on Thanksgiving. Fucking fast all day long, starved myself, worked out like crazy, super hard, right? And I was hungry by the time we got to thanksgiving right and then um and then drove a few hours to the where we were having it and then i actually had dinner i didn't even, actually couldn't even eat as much as i wanted to but i did eat a lot of turkey i had like three plates of turkey i couldn't really eat much after that but anyways uh and then vacations same thing you go on vacations your routine stays the same no matter where the fuck you go okay you work out every motherfucking day okay fast half the day eat smart drink smart no matter where you're at, your routine stays the same, okay? So being fat is a choice, people. I'm giving you the sit, the tips and the secrets for free, okay? It's up to you to fucking execute or stay fat. I don't give a fuck, but you don't get to complain about it. Got it? Have a wonderful day.